morning YouTube and welcome to my channel Jules Craft Room and this is the Sewing and Yarn Vlog episode 11. Um, right so to start off with I'll uh, show you my finished items. So I don't know if you remember I was um, making these knitted cardigans for um, my grandkids so there I can show you in the book and I finished the first one I still got the red and the pink one to do but I finished the first one and I thought I'd show you so this is it here it is absolutely beautiful and soft um, it's what can I say you it's got a button here that you put on so it's it's a true wrap so that button's up there might move the camera down because uh, I'm having trouble there. There, and then uh, you knit the tie at the end here and that goes to the other side and ties over like that. Um, it, was, it, was, it was quite a good um, pattern. I love the bit that when you do um, the edging along here, you do, see it's got like a scalloped edge there. I don't know if you can tell. And that's where when you're casting off, you you knit into the third row down here and then you cast off four and then you knit into the third row down and cast off four. And that's how it draws it in and uh, it looks really pretty. So um, I'm really pleased with that. So that's the first one. Lovely and soft. So um, I've and this is for Christmas for my one of my granddaughters. So I've just got to do the pink and the ruby red one. So I'm pleased with that. So I'll be working on that. And I don't know if you can see, if I turn the camera slightly, up here, there. That's the outfit I've made for uh, my granddaughter, Amelie, who's going to be um, two in um, this weekend, actually. Um, because it's Monday today, I think. Yes, Monday. And she's going to be two at the weekend. And I thought I'd finish it off by making her a little bag. So this is the little bag I've made. Um, it's uh, a pattern for it's Simplicity um, 1208. And it comes with a dress. And there's this bag. And on the uh, this side I've got... Um, I'm not sure if it's a cat or a bunny rabbit face. Um, but uh, they've got whiskers anyway so uh, yeah it looks a bit the eyes look a bit lopsided I think I might have to move that eye up because that looks it didn't look that lopsided before I sewed it up but that definitely needs um, repairing um, but yes but this side's pretty <laughs> so yeah so she can use either side but that's just a little bag to put bits and pieces I might fill it up with a few sweets and stuff like that for a birthday but uh, that went to work together really well. So I've got that done. So I think that's all her things made now for her birthday. And then um, anyone who likes um, Mandy Shaw will appreciate this. I saw this on Facebook that someone had bought. And I thought, oh, I definitely need one of these. And I found it on eBay. And it is a spotty bag. What do you reckon? <laughs> So I'm going to use it. I mean, it was only a tenner and, um, you know, it's, it's nothing. It's not leather. It's some sort of um, waterproof sort of shiny material. But I thought it's ideal for a project bag so I can keep my red work in there. So I thought that was rather good. Um, so, yeah, so that was off, off of eBay. So I'm happy with that. Um, but now I need to get on and finish doing the other ballerina cardigans and um, sewing wise then I can start on the um, ballerina skirts um, I've also got lots of other projects um, on wanting to start um, but uh, what did I find I downloaded this pattern from I think it was out of a magazine and that's the a little um, fairy outfit and I thought I might be able to 
you make that as the ballerina skirt and maybe a little vest top or something. So um, that's got, I've got that to do. I also loved this out of this magazine, so I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I also saw this and I thought, what a scrap, good scrap buster. Look at that. You've just got to use, you know, you like your fat quarters that coordinate and that looked lovely. So I might, and that, that pattern goes up to te, age 10. So I might make a couple of those. So I have got so much on. And then there's the Christmas things I want to do. I don't know where I put it now. Um, ah, yes. I got this out of the magazine and it's the Mandy Shaw Reef and I wanted to um, have a go at that. So I've got to get the bits for that. So uh, lots of plans in the pipeline, but uh, hopefully tomorrow or the next day when I get back, come back to you, I'll have some more finished items. So uh, see you in the next bit. Oh, I forgot to say, last night my son sent me um, a video of my granddaughter and they were watching me on YouTube on their big screen. And she was chatting to me, she's only two, and this is Elle, and she was chatting to me saying, Nanny? Nanny! And wondering why I wasn't answering. I think she thought I was FaceTiming her, but it was actually a video. But I'll put the clip in and you can see for yourself. Nanny! Nanny! Yeah. I don't know what I've ordered. They love you, Nanny. Nanny! It's Nanny's, Nanny's crafting style. Oh, is it? Yarn? Just vacuum packed in these. Um, so I thought I'd open it and see, uh, see if uh, this is. Um... <laughs> see you again soon. Morning, it's Friday the 17th of September and um, I just thought I'd finish off this video showing you what I managed to do the rest of this week. Um, first, I finished off the um, bee hoop from Dandelion Designs and here it is. I don't know if you can see. Really enjoyed doing this. Lovely bees and the beehive. Be happy. And um, my daughter Amy um, saw it and she loved it so much. She said, oh, can I have that? So um, so she's got it hanging up in her bedroom now. Well, her office. So, uh, yeah, so uh, really pleased with that. I'm going to look to do some more embroidery. I did enjoy that. So uh, very happy with how that turned out. Right, and the other thing I did, um, I because um, I did a load of Luna stuff for my uh, granddaughter's birthday on Saturday, and I was wrapping her presents, and um, I'll put a picture up here of um, the outfit I made her, and um, the Luna, and it the Luna was missing sort of like a top or a cardigan, and I thought, oh, I want to make something quickly that will match um, my granddaughter's shrug. So, um, yeah, so I made a little poncho for Luna. So it's just really literally two strips of crochet and then joined here and on the back there. And uh, yeah, so it's just a quick poncho, just so uh, she's got something that matches uh, the granddaughter's shrug. So yeah, I was pleased with that. I just did, um, I think I did about eight, eight chain and then I did um, double crochet to start off with and the rest were all trebles round until the end where I did double crochet at the end but yes it's uh, just a quickie just to give us something to match and that's on top of her dress so yes I was pleased with that so that's going to be wrapped and uh, she'll have it at her party on Sunday. And then the other thing is, um, obviously, I've been working on these for the granddaughters for Christmas. And I showed you that I finished the white one. And um, I'm still working through the others. Uh, the red one, I've just, I'm just doing the, um, sewing it together. And I'm just doing the band that goes along the top here so I've got to do the rest of it along this side and the um, pink one 
this one um, I'm still I think I'm still knitting the sleeves on that one so uh, should be finished soon but not yet and um, I'd just like to give a shout out to um, my daughter's got a channel sweet things by Amy and uh, she was doing a live last night decorating a cake and I went in the kitchen to make tea and they must have heard me so I had to go and say hello and one of her subscribers um, said that uh, he watches my channel <laughs> He's not into crafts, but he watches my channel and he said hello. So I'd like to give a shout out to Freddie and say if you are watching, hi Freddie. <laughs> Thank you for supporting both of us. And um, yeah, so that's it really. Uh, hoping to get a lot more done next week. Uh, finish those shrugs and then I can move on to the ballet skirts. That would be great. And I want to go into hobby craft and see if I can source the... Um, felt and bits and pieces so that I can start on the uh, Christmas wreath because Christmas is coming and I know Freddie is a fan of Christmas so um, we need to start making the Christmas decorations okay well thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you next week bye